New York City is going ahead with its ball drop. Is your city doing the same? Plus, a man has been arrested after a plot to kill President Joe Biden and Dr. Anthony Fauci, wildfires destroy hundreds of homes outside Denver, the college football playoff is here and more wild weather spreads around the country. Good morning, I'm Taylor Wilson and this is 5 Things You Need To Know, Friday the 31st of December 2021. Today, New Year's Eve in the time of Omicron, plus a man arrested after a plot to kill the president, and more. Here are some of the top headlines Happy New Year's Eve! It's the second time the world is ringing in the new year during the global COVID-19 pandemic, and while it seemed like we were out of the woods just a few months ago, surging cases have other ideas. Lots of celebrations tonight have been cancelled around the US and the world, though New York City is forging ahead with its famous Times Square ball drop. Now reporter Christine Fernando has more. New York City has decided to go ahead with their ball drop celebration. This year it's requiring revelers to show proof of vaccination, and photo ID, and to wear masks. They also have limited capacity compared to previous years. Typically their New Year celebration hosts around 58,000 people. This year it's more around 15,000 and they're not allowing entry until 3 p.m. to help mitigate numbers as well, but, yeah, they're going ahead with it. I know Chicago is also continuing their fireworks celebration. It's actually supposed to be the biggest in Chicago history, their fireworks display, 